Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching CSS Positioning Lesson 9 and in this video we're going to talk about absolutely positioning elements. Alright then gang, so this is exactly where we left off in the last lesson. We gave each one of these boxes here a position of relative and we just nudged them down a little bit to give this stair effect. And that's what we said that position relative can do. It can tweak the position of elements to the top, left, bottom or right. We also said that it had another use and that's when it's being used in conjunction with the absolute position property. Now, when we say a element is positioned absolutely, it means just that. It means we can position it absolutely anywhere on a page, right? And the way it works is this. We position it absolutely relative to the parent element which has a position relative attached. Now that might sound like gobbledygook at the minute, so I'm going to do an example to demonstrate this. What I'm going to do is jump up to the top right here above the services and I'm going to create a banner. So just a div tag with an ID of banner like that. And then within that I'm going to do an image which is going to be that cloud image I used a few lessons back. So it's just cloud.jpg, it's right here. And the width is going to be 100% like that and then underneath I'm going to do a h2 and it's going to say blue sky thinking don't you just love that quote right okay so what I want to do is take this h2 and position it over this banner so it's somewhere here right so it's like the banner or the the text is part of the banner now to do that, I'm going to use the position absolute property. But before I do that, I just want to neaten up this banner a little bit. So I'll go after that banner ID and I'll say max height is 300 pixels and the overflow is going to be hidden. Now you'll see it's only this high and the bottom of the picture and the H2 is currently hidden. Then what I'll do is give it a margin of 1% just to neaten it up a little bit like that. All right then, so now we're going to position this H2. So same again, I want to get the banner and target the H2 within it. And I'm going to give this a position of relative. And the first thing you're going to, I'm sorry, not relative, absolute. The first thing you're going to notice is that it's now there. You can see it, right? We've taken it out of normal document flow. Whereas position relative remains, uh, rather it keeps an element in normal document flow. When you position something absolutely, it removes that element from normal document flow, okay? So, now, if I was to say top zero and left zero, that's gonna position this H2 absolutely relative to the edge of the document like this, because the top, we're saying zero from the top, and zero from the left. And there is this little space at the top, but that's just the margin of the H2. If we say margin zero, it's gonna remove that, okay? So we're absolutely positioning that currently relative to the document itself. But what I wanna do is position it relatively to this banner, okay? And I want this to be the top zero and left zero point. Makes sense, right? Because I want it in the middle of this banner. So what I need to do is give this banner ID a position of relative. And now when I give this a position of absolute, it's absolutely positioning it relative to this banner because that's its parent element and it has a position of relative. Okay, makes sense? Now then, we can get rid of that left property because we don't need that. And what I'm going to do is say I want it 30 pixels from the top. And then I'm going to set its width to 100% like that. And I'm going to text align it to the center. So it scoots over to the middle. And then color is going to be white. All right then, guys. That is it. Now we have our H2 in the middle of the banner. And isn't that just the best banner you've ever seen? I mean, that's brilliant. So guys, that is how we position something absolutely. And remember, when we position something absolutely, it removes it from normal document flow. 
All right. So if you have any questions about this whatsoever, feel free to drop a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, I'll see you in the very next video where we're going to be taking a look at position fixed.